Hi, share the warmth. Um, it's been a while since I've done a video for you, and I have um, some great ideas that I want to share with you today about uh, growing your business and keeping your business going. I know a lot of people tend to get in a bit of a slump uh, in their business where um, you might not have anything booked for this month, um, you know, you're trying to book some parties, but you don't have anything, there's nothing on your calendar, and you're kind of you get to feel down. It happens to everyone. I mean, I've been doing this for three years and every couple of months I get into a slump where there's nothing in my calendar and I, it, you start to feel defeated. So I want to share with you some ideas on what you can do to get out of that slump um, and to continue to grow your business. This is the best time of year to be working your butt off in your Sensi business. Not only is it our busiest time of year, you're, um, people are shopping for Christmas, it's a new season, a new catalog, people want new scents for fall, um, people are thinking about Christmas gifts, we've got our harvest flyer and our holiday flyer out. There's all kinds of new things and really, really great reasons that we have to be contacting our customers to let them know about. And I have a child screaming. Hang on one second. Okay, so I'm back and I have a little assistant for the rest of the video. This is Taylor. Say hi. Hi. Um. <laughs> um, okay, so I have some ideas for you if you are feeling like you're in a bit of a party slump. Um, some different things you can do to continue to grow your business, get some parties booked, get some orders in. Um, one is, well, the, the biggest thing you can do is talk to everybody about Cincy. Your hairdresser, um, teachers at your kids school, other parents while you're waiting to pick up your kids at school, um, the dentist, the receptionist at the dentist's office, anybody you come into contact with is a potential customer or a potential host. Um, you don't have to be pushy about it, don't feel weird about talking about it, you can casually mention it in conversation, but hey do you mind if I leave you a Sensi catalog? Um, you know, anything, It's bring it up in conversation, um, just be talking about Sensi as much as you possibly can to everybody. Um, leaving felt samples and catalogs behind everywhere you go is always a good idea too. I always leave a catalog and a felt sample in the cart at Safeway when I put my cart back. Um, yeah, at the ATM I'll leave a felt sample sticking out of the ATM when I'm done using it. Uh, things like that. So you want to leave your info everywhere. Um, some things that might push you a little bit out of your comfort zone, but I really think everybody should try. Um, offer to put a warmer in a local business. So again, your hairdresser, um, you know, the nail salon that you go to, if you know somebody who works in a salon, or I just go to your local salon if there's a salon down the street, um, office buildings, lawyers' offices, things like that. Offer them to borrow a warmer from you. Absolutely no cost. I will give you a warmer to use in your office for two weeks. Um, I'll give you wax to use with it. All you have to do is just put out a couple, put out a couple of catalogs for me. Um, normally, they're going to say yes. I mean, it's who wouldn't? <laughs> um, unless they have some really crazy rules about scents, which some places do, but most of the time it's not an issue. Um, and every single time I have done this, I have ended up with a basket party order from the people who work there. So even if you're not getting new customers from their clientele, um, taking your catalogs and stuff, you're going to get the people who work there hooked. Um, and it, every single time, there's at least a couple orders, if not a party order, um, if not a home party booked from one of the people who work there. So that's a really, really good idea. You should definitely try that. Another one is fundraisers. Um, I'm not going to go too in-depth about it because I could talk for hours and hours about fundraisers. But basically, a Sensi fundraiser, find someone you know or a cause that you are passionate about um, that you want to fundraise for. People love supporting a good cause. Um, and how a fundraiser works, it's just a, it's the same as a regular party order but you donate your commissions or whatever percentage of it you're comfortable with doing, I do 25% my full commission, um, to the cause. You can create a Facebook event for it, you send out mass emails, you can have an actual event if you're having an, uh, an open house, you could make it a fundraiser, open house. Um, contact different, uh, your, your child's school or preschool or nursery school or daycare, um, who might be looking at doing fundraisers and offer to do a Sensi fundraiser for them. 
So if you have any questions about fundraisers, definitely let me know because I can answer. There's a lot of different ways to do them um, and on different scales. Um, another thing is flip your hosts. Every time you have a party host, don't waste that opportunity. You need to talk to your party host. First of all, coach your party host ahead of time. Make sure she's um, inviting, over inviting, inviting as many people as she possibly can to the party to make sure she gets good turnout. Get her excited about the product. Get her excited about um, the rewards she's going to earn. And then if other people from her party book their own parties, um, she gets the extra half price item. So you want to definitely pump up your host about that. But also make sure that you talk about the business opportunity. I normally do it when I'm setting up at a party. You want to eat your orange? Yeah. You want to go sit down over there? You want to eat it here? You want to eat it here? Yeah. This is why I love my job. I can do two things at once. Um, while I'm there, 20 minutes before her guests arrive, setting up my warmers and testers and stuff, I will mention, um, you know, if you might be interested in the business opportunity, if you have any questions, um, definitely let me know. If you if you are interested or if you uh, think you might be interested we could always flip this party and kind of make it like your launch party so after the party I'll stick around with you I can help you get signed up and I can show you how the workstation works and then every sale from your party tonight will be your first party order and you'll get the commission on it too um, and you still get all the host rewards nothing at all changes any parties that your friends book from your party tonight would be your parties uh, to do in the future. Um, so make sure you are talking about flipping parties every single time you do a party. Um, hosts are the best new team members because they already love the product and they already have people they know in their um, social circle who love it and are prepared to spend money on it as well. Do you have to go to the bathroom? Go potty over right there, okay? Uh, host open houses. Open houses are a great opportunity to reconnect with your customers, um, show them what's new, especially now that there's a new catalog. If you have nothing going on in October, uh, definitely plan an open house and make sure you invite everybody you know. Over invite, just like you would tell a host, um, normally about 30% of people you invite can actually come. And people are very last minute about these things too, so make sure you are personally calling people the week of your open house to personally invite them. Emails um, get deleted or ignored. Facebook events get ignored very, very easily. You need to make it personal. So if you're not going to send out an actual physical invite, make sure you're calling people to invite them and letting them know um, the specials that you might have at your open house or if you're going to be doing a draw for a special prize, things like that. Um, Follow-up calls are the most important. This is the last one I'm going to talk about. Follow up with your customers. You need to be providing really, really great customer service in order for people to want to come back to you to book more parties and order more product. Um, they have to feel like they have a personal connection with you. I talk about this all the time, but it's it's the lifeblood of our business. Is This business is all about relationships with our customers. So I have set up a business blitz every Monday night for myself. Um, I have it on our Facebook page, so if you want to join me on Monday nights, definitely do that. Um, but find a night of the week or an afternoon or you know an hour that you can set aside every week to go through all of your past orders. You want to call people who, um, who have had party orders delivered to them within the past couple weeks. So if you had a party and you dropped off the orders to the host a week ago, now is the time to start calling those guests to see if they've got their orders and to make sure they're happy with them. This is a really great opportunity for you to um, follow up with that customer. First of all, making sure they're happy with the product that they ordered, um, but also it creates a relationship with them. People are very happy that you're calling and that you are concerned and you actually care that they're happy with what they ordered. Um, and then you can always offer another incentive if they want to book their own party. Um, you want to call people who have ordered on your website. Um, to thank them for their order. Um, if they are local, you can let them know that next time they can email you or call you with their order instead to save on the shipping because you can tack it onto an order yourself. Um, and again, offer incentives for more for booking a party. Um, creating these relationships with people make them remember you. 
So even if they don't order anything or host a party for you, six months down the road, if it pops into their head, hey, I'm gonna need more Scentsy Wax, they'll remember your name, they'll remember your face, and they will call you for that. Um, so that's really, really important, is making sure you are following up with your customers and providing really great customer service. And if you tell somebody you are gonna call them back in a week or whatever, make sure you follow up with that and call them back. Um, so that's, that's my best advice for growing your business. Don't get yourself down if you have nothing booked. All it takes is one person, one contact that you make to be a positive one, to turn into an order, or a party. If you get one person to book a party in the next month, that's probably eight to ten people they have come into their party. Those are eight to ten brand new contacts that you wouldn't have had otherwise without that party. From those eight to ten contacts, you can book two or three or four more parties and it snowballs. So if you don't have anything booked, do not get yourself down. Just try as hard as you can to get one more thing booked, one more basket party sent out, um, and go from there. So that's it. That's all I wanted to talk about. If anybody has any questions, I'm always here to help. Um, you can contact me on Facebook. You all have my email or phone number. Um, I am listed in your workstation as your director, so you can click on my name um, and get all my contact info. Uh, that's it. So please like this video um, and click on subscribe, and that way you'll get new notifications every time I post a new training video, and you won't miss out on anything. So have a wonderful day, enjoy the beautiful weather, and we will talk to you soon. Say bye. bye.